Right guys, Gaft is back with his first video for over a week. Yeah, my back is still playing up. But just before I go any further, if you're new to this channel, or even if you're not new to this channel, hit subscribe button guys. There's a lot of videos I watch on YouTube who I'm not subscribed to, so if you could just hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. Make sure post notifications are on so you don't miss anything and this is the reveal to the any card at any number double prediction live performance you will have seen yesterday. Um, it's a fantastic little trick. It's a unbelievable looking trick, but it is so easy to do. You are going to need one thing and that is a top of the box gaff. There will be a link in the comments and in description to a little giveaway I've got going where you can win yourself or you need to build your own top of the box gaff. So you are going to need one of these and a regular deck. I'm going to pull the cellophane off for now just so that it looks the same. You haven't got the shine of the cellophane. And you're going to start the trick with the top of the box gaff on the top of the box. One thing I would suggest, I've got my top of the box gaff covered it with sticky Okay, that's my daughter. Sticky white labels. If you add another bit of the box and you could cover that up with another box, that would be awesome so it would look completely invisible inside. The magnets are not visible inside. So you're going to start the trick. The top of the box gaff on the top of the box. Right, let me just show you something incredible. You're going to open up the box and you're going to give the cards to the spectator to shuffle. So they're going to shuffle these cards. I know it's COVID and we cannot um, make contact with people, but if you've got a brother, your parents or whatever, you might be able to do this, your, your fiance, your boyfriend, whatever. So they're gonna be shuffling these cards. While they're shuffling the cards, just do the box back up and hold the box. You can hold it whichever way around you want. It's good holding it this way so they can see that it's the top of the box. There's nothing suspicious going on. And at some point they're gonna finish shuffling the cards. You're gonna take the cards back and you're going to put the top of the box or the box on top of the deck and you're going to say look I just want to show you that the box is in fact empty as you're showing them the box is empty you're going to strip the top of the box gaff off you're just going to slide it off but it'll be invisible under cover and then you can hand the box to the spectator to hold so you've there's nothing suspicious going on that's why it will be better if the magnets are covered with another bit of the cardboard from a box all you're going to do now is turn the deck over and say you're going to make a couple of predictions but all you're going to do is look for the two cards that are directly under the top of the box gaff. You're just going to fetch out the other black king and the other black ten. So you're just going to go through and you're going to find the other black king and the other black ten. You're going to pull these two cards out. Obviously it's going to be like this to the spectator. They, they will not see the cards you're pulling out. And they will not notice the top of the box gaff because it looks like the back of a playing card. You're going to take these two cards out and put them into the box. They can hold on to the box still if they want. You're then just going to get them to either give you two numbers or you can just reach in and touch two cards. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. But just a little note, you do need to make sure that the top of the box gaff is the right orientation. Because sometimes when you're fiddling around with the cards, you might turn the deck around, but just make sure... This is still around the right way. Let's just say we're going to get them to touch any two cards. So they're going to touch any two cards. You're going to take these cards out, put them on the top and give them the option to change their mind. It's always good that they can change their mind. You want to change your mind. Okay, if you would have picked these two, you'd have got the two of clubs and the six of spades. So just reach in and touch two cards. So you have this one and this one. Put these on top. Are you happy with your decision? They're happy, right? I put two cards inside the box. Just give me the box back. So they're going to give you the box back, place it on the top. What's going to happen is now these two in different cards they put on the top of the top of the box. When you place the box on top, it will steal them away. So you're going to take the box back, steal those two cards, open this up and then give them these two cards to hold. You can put the box aside then because all the dirty work's done. And then these are the two cards that they put on the top. There's no reason they should think these cards have been switched. How could you have switched them? 
So you can show them that the two cards you put in the box were the Ten of Spades and the King of Spades. Wouldn't it be incredible if the two cards they touched were a perfect match? Now I do think I've showed this, this reveal again before guys, I can't remember. But there's going to be some people that will see that live performance and not know how it works. So it's just the good old top of the box because this has stolen those two indifferent cards. Look. As long as it's all squared up, you could even turn this box over. No one's going to see it. It's, it's invisible. So there's another trick for you, Magic Corner. So comment, subscribe, like, guys. Thank you all for your um, comments of Get Well Soon, Gaffer. I'm feeling a lot better. It's Saturday today. This is the first day which I've been out of bed since 9 o'clock and I haven't been back in bed yet with my back. So it's feeling a lot better. Oh, look at that spread. I would also... Um, like it guys if you could share my videos i'm starting to get a little bit of money through monetization but the more views the more money i get the more money i get the more stuff i can buy and the more giveaways i can do so uh comment subscribe like guys and come back tomorrow for possibly a rerun of an old card trick cheers